Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new game on the channel. This is an indie point and click die retry adventure game, uh, which is a bit of a mouthful, but it'll make sense shortly. Um, I believe it's called Kineged and Nor. I think that's how it's pronounced. If it isn't, then I apologise. Um, yeah, this is um, by uh, an indie developer. You can see his um, Twitter tag on the screen there flashing up, um, Antobo. Um, and he actually um, contacted me on Twitter and asked if I wanted to play this because it looked like something that um, was my sort of style and matched the other stuff that I play on the channel. And yeah, I've taken a look at it um, briefly and it, it looks really cool. So we're going to go ahead and play it. Um, the gist of it is we're going to die a lot. Um, it's one of those games where we don't have long to think about the puzzles, which is um, potentially not going to be very good for me because I tend to <laughs> really go in depth with my thinking, but we'll we'll see what happens. Um, I'm really excited to play it. Um, it's on Pico 8 as well. Um, I love all Pico 8 games. They're really cool with the pixel art and all things like that. And the soundtrack's pretty cool as well so far. Um, there's 77 endings. Um, apparently you can complete it in 30 seconds, but I have, you know, there must be some sort of trick to that. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and start though, and um, hopefully we won't die too much. So here we go. This is Kynaged and Nor. Here we go. You dashed in the dungeon. You're now in the... You died. You're too slow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you feel an extreme dizziness and you collapse. Brilliant. We died. You died again. As you recovered, you clicked at random and sadly it triggered a mystical trap mechanism. You failed to go back to the title screen. Press X on your keyboard. <laughs> oh my god, it's going well guys. Two deaths already. We've unlocked two of the endings. Right, two deaths. Here we go. You dashed in the dungeon. You're now in the main hall. Right. You died. Under this big stone, you found a giant anaconda that bit you to death. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, the door. You died. <laughs> oh, no. As you walked near the door, you painfully fell in a bunch of poisonous spikes. Brilliant. Okay. Let's do this again. Can we? No, we can't click on there. Four deaths already, guys. Can you believe it? Probably you can. Um, can we go up there? No. Can we? <laughs> We're too slow again. <laughs> Oh, why? Okay. Um, right, let's, um, what's this? You died. <laughs> you burnt your left hand with the vehement flame of your torch and shortly became a flaring running fireball. Terrific. Okay, um, is there any way we can, like, no. What's this? You died. <laughs> You slipped on the skull and failed to start the game. Fantastic. Okay, what about the other skull? We're going to die again, right? Yeah, we died. <laughs> you looked at this special skull and you got hypnotised. All your vital strength is extinguished straight away. Oh, God, right, okay. Um, what's this? Something has been disabled. Oh, yes, we're in. You died. <laughs> As you began to fight this sparkling... Kaka demon? You realised you were already grilled and crumbled to ashes. Okay, but at least we know what to do now, right? So, we pull the switch, we go in here. Uh, seems heavy, can I take it? You won't pick it up. What's this thing? Nothing. You died. <laughs> As you walked through the door, you got caught by a ravenous Kaka demon, level 80. Okay, so let's not follow that guy again the next time then. Uh, pull the switch, walk through the door go through this one. You died. You got lost in a labyrinth full of fungus, vomit, mist. Lovely. The smell instantly killed you. Okay. <laughs> what? You died. In this wall hole, you found a legendary big black scorpion that stung you 153 times. I just misclicked. I didn't realise I was clicking the wall hole. Okay. No. <laughs> No, come on. Okay, oh, can you click this door? Oh, you can. There's another way into the level. Okay, um, can we go through the middle door? Let's let that caca demon thing go past. No, you got ambushed and eaten by 26 black magic vampire cannibals. Oh, these um, engines are pretty unique, aren't they? Can we? No, we can't click that. Okay. 
Okay, pull the switch. Um, what do we do then? Do we just wait for him to leave? We can't get that. It's too heavy. I don't know what this green crap is. What's the here? Is that a hole? You died. You never learn and found again another legendary scorpion so venomous all your bones tried. <sighs> we didn't learn our lesson, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Right, pull the switch. Go through the door. Is there anything else we can click in here? No. 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 Can we click on... There was... Okay. No. Uh... The yellow stuff? No. Right. We've got to do something else. We're, um... Doing something wrong here. What happens if we click this? No, nothing. Okay. I don't really know the difference between sort of... Can we... Oh, we got a stone. Oh, I see. There's a little stone next to it. Ah. We figured it out. Right. Let's pick this little stone up. What are these other stones here, by the way? Nothing. Right. Through the door. Can we lob the stone at him? We can, yes. We threw the stone at him. Right, can we go in this door now? We can. Oh, crap. Skull key. You heard an irritating noise and your mind got blown. You floated aimlessly in total dementia with aimless, with absolutely no chance of survival. Yay. God, we're dying all over the place. All right, pick up the rock, go through the door, lob the rock at the guy, go through here. Right. You got hurt by the pointy gate and you bled a lot. You fell asleep exhausted but peaceful. Well, at least we died peacefully that time, I guess. Okay, there's got to be a way of doing this, hasn't there? Right, lob the rock at this guy. We can't get that. Right. Oh, I see. I don't think we can move the mouse over that. Um, it looks like a tuning fork. I remember that from like the science lessons back as a kid, where you'd like smack it on the desk and get it to make the noise. Right. I think maybe we've got to go up and round this, like this. I released a wild pack of gorillas, especially designed to mercilessly trample me. Damn those gorillas. Okay. But we I think something happened when we clicked the rock, but I panicked and didn't see what it was. How did we release the pack of gorillas? Was it because we clicked the top rock? I'm thinking maybe it is. Okay. We're making progress now, though. Like, we're sort of figuring it out. Oh, it's to do with the switches. I see they're switches. They're not rocks. So we've got to... I guess we've got to click the top and bottom ones. Because I think the middle one triggers the pack of gorillas. No, the gorillas came out again. How do we stop the gorillas? I don't think we have any items we can use, do we? Something has been disabled. Do we get... Oh, okay. You tried to toggle this structural puzzle, but instead you got physically injured. If only you got the right tool. Ah. So we need a tool to do this then. We can't we definitely can't pick that up. Right, so it turns out that isn't gonna kill us, is it, that gate thing? Use the key. Ah, oh, so we use the key on it. Oh, we got hurt by the pointy gate. Okay, so it's it's starting to come together a little bit now then. So Get the rock. Go through the door. Lob it at that. Go through. Pick up the key. We can let this fall down. I didn't realise that. So what What goes in there then? Uh, one of these... Something's been disabled. If I only had the right tool. What tool do we... Do we need the, like, the little thing on the floor? Man, we've died 27 times. This is shameful. <laughs> 
Right, it's got to be something we're missing in here. So I don't know what locking the gate does. So if we... What does that do? Use the key... Right, that the one, the middle one we can't do. If you if you do the middle one, the the pack of gorillas comes out. Oh, okay, we didn't. Oh, no, I've done it again. <laughs> All right, I've got to remember to press X instead. Okay, so do that. Pick up the rock. Go through here. Kill him. Go through here. Let the gate come down. See, that was that was the thing we were trying... Unless we have to click those red glowy lights up there. I don't know. Can we... No, nah, okay. We definitely can't click on that thing. We've definitely got to avoid that irritating noise thing. Okay. So... Okay, maybe we've got to straight away click the thing in the background. Maybe that's what we're doing wrong. Maybe the key is like luring us in. Let's let's see. As you rush directly toward the door, you got dazzled by a shrill white flash of light and a random mosquito shred all your body parts. That's kind of gross. Anyway, <laughs> we try again. <laughs> it's lucky I'm in a good mood today and I'm not getting really angry about this. <laughs> Can we like just... There's got to be something we use on that, right? I don't, I don't know what it is that... Oh, so the top one releases the gorillas as well. Huh. Are we missing something? I don't think we are. Unless we've got to use that. It's too heavy. We can't take it. Right, we used the key. Something has been disabled now. But it's not that. <laughs> Maybe it disables one of the switches for the gorillas. I am literally just like hoping. Clicking and hoping. Okay. So I think we've got to wait for this to come down. Use the key. Then we've got to press... What? What? That worked before. Why did that... I don't get where the gorillas came out that time. It's, we've got to find something to do with this sword, right? Right. Picked up the key. Something has been disabled. Something has been disabled. No, the gorillas! <laughs> Right, so, I wonder if there's like a certain combination we've got to use on those switches. That's what I'm starting to think now. So, I wonder if we get the right combination if it disables this weird tuning fork thing. I don't really get why that happens, the whole gorillas thing. Am I missing something? Feels like I'm probably missing something. I don't really know what it is, though. <laughs> okay. Right. The key. Wait, hang on. These... It looks like the switches go in a different direction every time the room... You go into the room. Maybe you've got a... Okay. Yeah, so I think maybe you've got to avoid the one which is facing to the right. Right, something's been disabled. Something's been disabled. Now what? <laughs> Did that do anything to the tuning fork, by the way? Or because I forgot to pay attention to that, which was the whole point of doing it. Right, so I think we've got to avoid the one at the bottom because it's facing to the right. Right, something's been disabled. Something's been disabled. But now what? Nice, it doesn't do anything to that. I'm like really stuck on this. There's got to be a way of doing this, right?
I don't think there's a way of getting that little dagger, although it does look like kind of like the dagger might go into there. I don't know. Can we undo the switches? No. And then that releases the gorillas. What the hell? <laughs> there must be something really obvious that I'm missing here, guys. I've actually had a pretty rough weekend. Baby Turian's been really sort of unwell with an ear infection, so I haven't had much sleep, so it's probably not helping matters. What was that in the background? It's like a pillar or something up there. Can you like click on the wall or anything? Got hurt by the pointy gate. No. Okay. We're going to figure this out. We are going to work this on out. Don't worry. It might take a little. Right. Is that... Hold your strength. Oh, yes. We pick it up. I see. We click and hold. Oh, yes. We figured it out. There we go. Where do we go now? Oh my god, the torch went out. You wandered in the labyrinth before being devoured by various bloodthirsty monsters. But we figured it out now. Finally. Right. You have to click and hold on the sword to get it. Ha ha ha. Oh no! Bloody tuning fork. Okay. Right. Kill him. Pick up the sword. Go into here. Get this. Get that. Toggle that on. Toggle that on. Don't you dare burn out, you stupid flipping thing. Right. Good, good. Oh, cool. Another... And I was going to say another torch. You died. This new torch was so hot that you couldn't touch this. During your blazing incineration, you had to admit you could have been more cautious. Yep, I got excited by the um, the new torch there, so that was silly of me, wasn't it? Okay, so, but I sort of know what we're doing now. We've, we've made a bit of progress again, which is nice. It's a button hit. Oh, God, 1950. What? Denied. No. And the torch went out. Was it no Roman numerals or something? I think it might have been. I don't know. Let's um, let's go back and have a look. We know what to do now. That's clever though, with the having to hold down the the mouse to to get it to what? I must have clicked in the wrong place. Having to hold down the mouse to pick up the sword. Like it took me forever to figure that out. <laughs> so obvious as well. That didn't happen, guys. Okay. Come on then. Put the key in. Put the sword in. Go through here. Some bones and a glove. Can we get... The yes! We got the torch from the glove. I see. You died. As you came by the skeleton, you got struck by instantaneous osteo osteoarthritis. Harsh, brittle, but quick. <sighs> right, okay, well we know how to pick up the next torch now, so we don't run out of um, light. So, yet more progress. That's the main thing. Painful progress, but progress nonetheless, guys. Right, get the glove. Get the torch. Right, what is it? 1910? It is Roman numerals. Crap, I can't remember what Roman numerals are. Uh, one? No. Ah, oh, crap. Um, as you continued on typing at random, you got recaptured by a vile and swift flying kraken. You didn't have time to... something. Okay, what is... Oh, I've got to try and remember what 1000 is in Roman numerals. It's been flipping ages since I've done Roman numerals. Is it C? Or is that or is that a hundred? I can't I just can't remember. The thing is the number changes every time as well. 1902. Uh right. I think it's 
Uh, no, that's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, right. Close that. Open that. Pick up the sword. Okay, got that. Do that. Do that. Brilliant. Ah, oh, no! How do I keep going over that stupid thing? <laughs> Alright, we know what we're doing now. We're on a bit of a roll up until that point. It's just I don't remember Roman numerals very well, so... It's my fault for being an idiot. Okay, through here. Pick up the glove. Pick up the torch. Is there anything else we can click in here, by the way? I didn't check that. Right, 1903. What's this? You died. <laughs> you fearlessly tried to hack this digital panel, but you were electrocuted. Fair enough. Cutting wires does not work in real life. That's true. Here we go again. <laughs> okay, wait for this to come down. Use the key. Use that thing. The dagger. Go in here. Get the glove. Get the torch. Is there anything else around here? No. Right, 1904. I'm sure it's D. 190. Uh, is it 15? Ah! I can't remember what 4 is. I think it's 1V, isn't it? 1V? Something like that. I think it is 1V. Okay, we were doing alright there. Maybe I'm wrong about the D being a thousand though. <laughs> Alright, okay. Let's um switch these on. That irritating noise. Fifty six deaths, man. Fifty six deaths in what? Twenty minutes? It's really bad. It's really bad. I hate that stupid, irritating noise thing. Right, get the glove. Get this. Okay, 1902. So I'm sure it's D9 uh, is 1X02. Why did that happen? Maybe I didn't click the enter in time. Maybe a C. I, d I just don't remember. <laughs> okay, almost pressed the wrong switch there. Right, get the glove out. Get the torch. Open that. Right, 1903. Denied. No. Oh, it's M, isn't it? It's M. Okay. What are we doing for time? Uh, we can have a couple more runs of this, and then I might have to call it a day for the episode. Um, I think I'm going to keep playing it. I've, I've had fun playing this. I say I've had fun. <laughs> no, I have. I've had fun playing it so far. So I think I'll do at least one more episode of this, um, see if we can't complete it. Um, because otherwise it's just going to bug me that I didn't manage to do it. Um, and I'm sure, you know, it's, it's definitely a game which is completable for me. Um, I've just got to sort of trial and error my way through it, really. Um, but I'm sure we can figure out a way of... If I actually click in the right place, it might help. I'm sure I can find a way of doing this. Right, this is the last run for this episode. Um, and then, if not, I might cheat and look up Roman numerals a little bit between episodes. Right, that doesn't count. This is the last turn. I mean, it's not going to be a normal Turian Shepherd. This is the last turn, and we say it about 50,000 times before we actually do the last turn. This is the last turn for this episode. And I'm going to concentrate now so I don't click the wrong thing and go over that again. Um, yeah, I might have to brush up on my Roman numerals a little bit between episodes because that was just really, really bit annoying. Right, M19... Where's five? Fifty. I'm sure I clicked, I've clicked in the wrong place on the keypad like an idiot. Right, okay, guys. We will um, 
we will leave it there. We are on 62 deaths and we've got 23 out of 77 endings. We will continue in the next one. We are going to figure out how to complete this game. Um, I'm not going to accept defeat. We'll work it out. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. So enjoying it so far. Um, it's quite a cool little little game. Having fun playing it. Looking forward to seeing the rest of it. It's really well done actually with all the unique endings and all things like that. And it, it really does make you think and, and react quickly. So I like that. I'm having fun playing it. Um, so yeah, that is going to do it for this episode guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.